peoples, Al York Sports with another one. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to salute Dwayne Haskins, uh, rest in power, young boy. Sad situation that happened on Saturday. Uh, it was like daytime, jumped out of his car, ran out of gas, a dump truck ran him over. Rest in peace to Dwayne Haskins. Let's start the show. Tribute to Dwayne Haskins. Al your Sports. 15 quickest minutes in sports. It's already snow. Salute to Mac One, baby. Mac One. Woo! My boy getting that fire, baby. Go like this to all those copyrights now. Put them like this all day, baby. This shit hit fire, man. Rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins, baby. I'm a tribute him, and we gonna keep it pushing, baby. Yes, sir. How your sports? This is fire, right? I gotta let this rock. He also, you know, he's the Pittsburgh Steelers for this place. So I gotta represent the steel curtain, you know what I mean? Alright, let's get to the point. Let's get right with it. Al York Sports, the raw truth. Special tribute, Dwayne Haskins. Uh, before we start our show, go to YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Continue the good work, people. Shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Las Vegas. New York City, LES to the death. Nueva York, Nueva York. Shout out to Dwayne Beeman. Dwayne Beeman still doing his thing. Got another big fight lined up. We got to interview him on the last fight to see what exactly happened. Shout out to Credit Fix. Inbox me, uh, email me. Al.NewYorkAyahoo.com. Never too late to get your credit fix. Need advertisement, hit me up and I'll hook you up. Hit me up and I'll hook you up. Instrumentals. Go to SOS Studios at Yahoo.com, Bishop Brown, or hit my man, Mac One. Mac One dropping bombs at the bombs. Open sessions and giveaways. Tell one person. The more, the merrier. Shout out to Tugboat. Shout out to my man, Crip. Shout out to my man, W. Uh, who else? My man, CC. Shout out to everybody, man. And now let's start this uh, tribute real quick. Dwayne Haskins, 24 years old, was born May 3rd, 1997 in Highland, New Jersey. And what sticks out to me about this young player, the football player, the Pittsburgh Steelers, came out of Ohio State. I had seen a video on Instagram when he was a young little boy and he had the Ohio State jersey. And this man interviewed him and said, hey, little man, uh, what team you going to play for when you get older? And he looked right in the camera. He said, Ohio State. He go, what position you going to play? He said, quarterback. And you know what? He lived up to what he tell that guy that interviewed him as a young little like eight years old boy. You got to respect that, man. Salute to, uh, to Dwayne Haskins, man. It's, it, it's sad that on Saturday in the daytime, like I said earlier, he got ran over by a pickup truck or a dump truck it was. You know, he got out of his car. There's still a lot of stuff that has to come out of this story. You know, that makes your mind wonder if he ran out of gas, why he didn't stay in his car, use his cell. But it's just so much missing. You don't know if his cell had no battery. It's so many other stuff that's lacking, and I'm not going to assume. The bottom line is that the young boy passed away. And I want to salute, I want to God bless his family, God bless his soul, and just try to make it a real good interview instead of trying to nip him up. I don't want to nip him up. Adam Scheffner, one of the greatest in the game and in getting uh, information, uh, one of the best resources, especially in football. I respect the guy, but I didn't respect how one hour after, you know, Haskin passed away, he shot doubts at him. Saying that he didn't succeed in the end of front of, I, I, whether it's true or not, a lot of y'all gonna say you're out, but it's true though. It was the wrong time to say it. Like, like, like I'm a true believer. Uh, there's a right time to say certain things, and that wasn't it. 
So that's why I'm knocking out his chef. Okay, he was accurate. You know, the guy did struggle in the NFL first couple of years. But me, I'm a believer of Haskin. I loved him in Ohio State. I wanted the Giants to pick him up, even though I'm not a Giant fan. I was mad when the Giants got Danny Dimes instead of him because I was like, Haskins is that dude. But for some apparent reason, you know, he struggled a little. But I thought being with Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers organization behind Big Ben, I said, this is it. This is this boy's chance right here. Big Ben's retiring. He could beat out Rudolph. He could beat out Trubinsky. If he brings his A game, fully talented. The guy could run, got an arm. He just had to get his head together a little bit. You know, the NFL was just maybe, maybe it was just too much likes for him too early. But like I said, sitting on the Big Ben, Mike Tomlin in your ear, I thought that this was his opportunity to get it going. And Sally, uh, he got murdered on Saturday afternoon. Dump truck ran him over. So now I'm not able, his family's not able, his fans are not able to see if he was going to take off in the NFL like a lot of us thought. Because let me give you some college numbers. He killed them in college, man. He played 22 games in Ohio State, 373 completions, 33 attempts, 70% completion rate. Damn near 5,000 yards, 9.1 per average per pass, 54 total touchdowns, 10 total interceptions, and he had 50 touchdowns in one season. 50 touchdowns and damn near 4,000 yards passing in one season. And he was third in the Heisman Trophy voting in 2018 overall. Dwayne Haskins was a beast. Then in 2019, he went in the first round, 15 overall pick to the Washington football team. Like I said, I thought the G-Man should have picked him up. And I think five or six where they picked up dimes. I'm here to salute this young man. He killed it in college in the two seasons he was there. Uh, great young kid. Some reason the NFL game was a little too fast for him, a little too early. I don't think that, you know, I'm not I'm not knocking Rivera and the Washington football team. I don't think they set the young boy up to win. And a lot of you guys that know the game like I know the game know exactly what I mean. A lot of you new guys are going to be like, yo, Al, what that means? That's an excuse for him. No, it's not. When you get a young boy, it's just like when you hire a young boy to work in your business. You got to train him. You don't just throw him in the fire. Because if you throw him in the fire, he's bound to fuck up. That's just what it is. If you train him, show him video, show him what you expect, show him how to conduct, show him how to deal with it, you give him a chance to win. And a lot of you guys know that pick up jobs without training, especially security gigs that I've been through a bunch of them. You know, a lot of people set up to lose, man. That's the bottom line. And I felt that's what happened to him in Washington. That's why I love that Mike Tallinn and company picked him up, sat him down, had him sit behind Big Ben. He had a, he played a couple of real good preseason games, but still sat him down. They were re-teaching him, retraining him how to play the game at a different level because, you know, college and NFL, two different levels. But salute to Dwayne Haskins. I always liked the kid coming out of Ohio State. I mean, the kid was insane to me, man. I mean, there was a time where the way he was flinging it against good teams, Michigan, Michigan State, I was like, this kid's going to tear up the NFL. Real talk. And let me give you his NFL career, which is, I shouldn't do this, but I have to do it because I got to keep it on it with y'all. Played 16 total games in the NFL. Had a 3-10 QB record as a starter. 60% completions. 6.3 yard per attempt. Uh, 12 touchdowns, 14 picks. And uh, I just felt he had a promising situation with the Steelers. And this is what makes this story so sad. And the kid was only still 24 years old, man. And with that, all I want to say is, hold on, let me say one more thing. Yeah, here we go. God bless the young man. Uh, the guy went through a lot of trials and tribulations for a young man like a lot of other young mans go through. He was about to turn this around, man. I mean, you hear it from his players. See, when you hear it from players saying that he was fun in the locker room, he always was smiling, 
He always wanted to learn. That's what you was hearing out of the new Dwayne Haskins after he left Washington. So that alone is showing you change. Showing you that he cared. Showing you that he wanted to live up to the hype that when he came out of Ohio State. And I, like I said, I was a fan of his, man. I really wanted to see this guy shine. I really wanted to see him shine. And now we all cut short because of the tragedy that took place this Saturday. So I'm going to ask y'all to give me a couple minutes. God bless your soul, Dwayne Haskins. Um, you're too young, man. You're too young. God bless your family. Oh, man, this is a tough one, man. It's a tough one, man. And, and guys that take sports serious like myself, this is a tough one because, like I said, this is a kid that didn't start out the best but was willing to do what he had to do to get it right. Rest in power, Dwayne Haskins. And with that, let me end it with this, guys. Woo! I know the family. Look for their family, man. This got pictures so bright, man. I'm telling you, man. She is off. You see how he can run. Little erratic. But now we're going to get fixed up working behind Ben and Tomlin. Sky was delivered. The play has to. Now, a lot of y'all might not see it like me. Hey, I understand that. I know the game is going up. That in the right situation, the kid was going to be nice, man. You know what's that, guys? 15 quick minutes. How your sports. Thank you guys for tuning in for another show. Don't forget to tap in on Friday. Open sessions and giveaways. How your sports support truth. Rest in peace, Wayne Haskins. Rest in power, yo.